jail today in connection with a freeway shooting last night. Michigan State Police troopers responded to I-96 near Greenfield in Detroit on reports of a shooting around 11 o'clock. Troopers say this was an isolated domestic violence incident. A 25-year-old woman allegedly shot at a man's car while driving on the freeway. There was a child in both cars during the shooting, but nobody was hurt. The suspect has a child with the victim. She was arrested. Meanwhile, gun violence prevention leaders gather today to announce. Okay, so shalom, shalom, kum yashala, koholoyim la yahweh, bahashem yahweh shai, bahashem rakah kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and thereby the Spirit taught us His beautiful truth. Just want to say thawada to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And as you can hear, and, and that's an E. You know, that we already know that's an E. That, that's not no Edomite right there. That's right up the street from the house. <laughs> and there's so many things been happen around my area. You know, um, and there's been a lot of road rage shootings, but... Of course, they say that this was from domestic violence, but for a 25 year old woman with a child in her car and she's shooting at her, her, her spouse, so to speak, with a child in his car. That lets you know, man, just how um, how wild this place is. And, you know, just to just be circumspect, brothers, you know, when you're dealing with the American so-called black women and it's no offense to <laughs> any of you sisters that's into this truth. It's just hey, the truth is it, it, it's just complete wildness, man. It's not why you got to be really, really, really circumspect about these women that you're dealing with, man, and having children with, laying down and producing children with, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, what comes to mind is the curses, of course, Deuteronomy chapter 28, and also that our women are at ease. You know what I'm saying? Like our women are just so out here and, and have so many freedoms to get abroad that they're they're just living lives of just lies, man. That the, that the you know these Edomites have told them that you're free to do as you will. You know, um, um, all that woman's rights shit. Uh, you know that feminism. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. You know, you're your own person. You know, and, and it's no stabilization in these relationships, man. And and it's because of Esau's um. His government, basically, his rulership. It says when the um the the wicked, it says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. And that's all that you see around the world, man. Is is um the mourning of the entire globe, man, with these people being um in being in uh, uh charge, man. But this is Deuteronomy twenty eight, and I'm gonna start from verse fifty four because these are the curses that are on the Israelites. And when we read through these curses, you can clearly see that these curses don't don't touch no one but the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. This is just proof of who we are. And when you go to verse 46 right here, it says, moreover, all these curses shall moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his, and his statutes, which he commanded thee. So these, they're on us for a sign. It's like a McDonald's sign. You see the big ass um, golden arches, you know you at McDonald's, you know you can get a damn Big Mac. And it's the same way with us as a people. When you see the violence, the, the, the you know, the, 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 um, the hurt, the, just this whole situation that we're in. Because if you read through the entire chapter, what you'll see is we're in a bad fix, man, because the Lord has, you know, hey, we were disobedient and we broke our part, our part of this um, covenant right here. But I'm going to start from verse 54. So the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. So who knows what the situation may have been with that? You know, Jake do be out here. You know, we can't just put it all on the woman because the man is, you know, the whole nation is out of control. A lot of effeminate ass men being raised by these single mothers. Okay. Um, but well, let me jump to verse 56. It says, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. So 
I'm not, it's not saying that whether or not the child that was in the car with the father that, you know, that she shot at was even her child. Could have been a, a, a child from another woman, you know, but she had one, a, a kid in her car. So now you're being arrested. The babies are being taken. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's a fucked up situation. And you don't hear about um, those Israelis going through nothing like that. You're never hearing about no Israelis hanging out of the car um, window of a because uh, it says she was hanging out the back window somehow. Some crazy shit. She's shooting out of the car on the freeway. Hey, the freeway already crazy. That particular freeway right there that they mentioned in here, you know, it's right uh, maybe a few blocks away from me. But, you know, I was on there yesterday <laughs> a couple of times, you know, because, you know, at the plantation, I kind of do some driving. But I avoid that shit at all costs, man, because people crazy as hell on there. It's already a lot of road rage. Then she on there shooting while motherfuckers is doing 80, 90 miles an hour. Imagine that. You know, imagine that. Right. But anyway, let me let me move on here. Not going to be a long lesson. This is Isaiah 32 and nine. Let's start there. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear into my speech. Because, the, the, you know, the women, they're careless as hell. That's very careless. Like you about to go to jail. You not caring about where your baby about to go. You don't care about the other baby. Even if you hate this nigga to death. You don't care about the other baby in the other car. You could have hit him. Car could have flipped. You know, just so happened nobody was hurt. But it just shows you the wildness of Eve, man. I be seeing them, man. Hey, hey you see him with them big ass eyelashes on? Them nasty looking ass um, um, nails that's, you know, that's, that hangs down to their damn knees. Hey, avoid that. Because, <laughs> I mean, you you need to be questioning some things if you see them like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just better to just leave the asses alone, man. Uh, uh, verse 10, it says, Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth, sackcloth upon your loins. Which means that, hey, it's just really time to just repent and, and, and humble yourself. Our women are, are hot. Man, when I say they... I. It, I, I, I really, I, I got to say, they're probably more proud, prideful than Esau. Just our people in general. But that, the black, the so-called black one, oh my. Oh my, my. I don't talk about, man, motherfucker can be 450 pounds. Shaped like a goddamn bus. And be proud as hell. Be talking all types of shit. Be, you know, just me, 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 me. Look at me. I'm talking about really just, you know, selfied out of just... It all just and 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 nothing, all on just walking through the mall, just walking through the Walmart, walking through, you know, the store with just nothing on. Like God damn, prideful as hell, man. Talking all manner of shit, boasting, proud as hell, and it's. I mean, it's just it is what it is. We understand why it, it is happening, and the water to y'all about she never saw man for showing us. Because we, I, hey, personally, I used to live just regular old life, man. Just, hey, that shit was just regular. You be looking at shit like that, oh, like, okay, all right. But now coming into this truth, you see it through the, you know, the microscope of the scriptures. Like, man, that shit is wicked as hell. This place is through. You, you come into this truth, you have to, you know, you, it'll make you, you know, you just get wiser. Like, uh, you know, I can just hear in her voice, nope. <laughs> I can just see, just nope. Nope, 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 nope. Like for real, you it's better to not get married to these chicks. Not 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 in the American way. Don't go get no paperwork with, with none of these chicks, man. Fuck that. We'll wait on Isaiah 4 and 1. <laughs> Don't get no paperwork with none of these chicks. You're going to the courthouse. I just seen the elder do a video earlier, you know what I'm saying, with this chick, you know, talking about how, uh, you know, she going, she's a, uh, yeah, Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite. She had, she, when she first came in the truth, she had a bone to pick with the Hebrew Israelites, but she ended up getting with one of these dudes and things that, you know, went sour. And now she's on Facebook chat and shit, you know, in a, in a Hebrew Israelite woman's chat group, so to speak, talking about, you know what I'm saying, how, you know. Sex is not marriage, and you know you you know just talking shit because you didn't had a bad experience with a guy. 
And it's a lot of that going on. A lot of our people are not vetting these people, man. You're not asking questions, not, you know, really sitting down and saying, well, hey, what you think about this? You know what I'm saying? You know, if, if you a brother and you deal, what you think about multiple wives, because I want multiple wives, if that's what you went to, you have to let her know that shit off the jump. And then it don't make no difference, even if you let her know that off the jump. If she wants to get with you and then you want to deal with another woman, she ain't going to be with that shit. You living in America, man. You living in captivity. These women are prone to feminism. Things go their way. Things not going you niggas way. Y'all can cut it out, man, with that, man. Be Use more wisdom, man, when it comes straight down to it. But this shit is retarded. You so mad. As a matter of fact, let me get a scripture uh, on anger, man. Scripture says to be slow to anger. That um, anger rests in the bosom of fools. And we're all guilty of it, but the scripture says to um, you know be angry and sin not. Let me see. Uh, Cause shit do piss you off, man. These motherfuckers will piss you off. I'm not gonna front on that. This is Psalms 103 and 8 because we really supposed to take the example of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. It says, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. And that's the way that we should be. You know, that that follow that example of him. Um, Proverbs 15 and 18, it says, a wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeases strife. And that goes for the woman as well. This is not just talking about men. You know, you, you know, Proverbs 16 and 32, it says, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit, then he that taketh the city. You're supposed to be in control of your spirit. You may have anger, um, anger spats and shit with people and just be like, but but the, the scriptures should kick in and say, you know what? Let me just get away from this person. And sometimes it's got to be for good. Like, hey, you have a good, you know, hey, it's been nice. You know, um, we don't seem to get along. You know, um, I'm noticing that, you know, a hey, certain things are building up where, you know, we're, we're both going against the scripture, so to speak. And, you know, it's just best to just, to, you know, part, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Because some people just especially carnally, man, if they're not into the scriptures, they're not going to um, get it anyway. But let me get this other one. Um, Cause see, once you let see like how she let that anger override her. Now, I'm pretty sure she's sitting in a goddamn jail cell and she, she's wishing that she could take everything back. That scripture, uh, yeah, Ephesians 4 and 26. It says, be ye angry and, and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. See? So you have to, you know, you have to um, watch yourself, correct yourself, catch yourself. You know, that's what the, that's what being in the spirit is about. You have to be in the spirit. Like, you know what? Shh, man, fuck that, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm out. I'm not even trying to deal with you right now. You know, if it's a, a wife and husband deal, you know, really, you're supposed to be able to situate that within a household and, and, and not lay down and be pissed with each other and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, overall, when it comes to just some other random person, sometimes you just got to let it go, man. Let it let it let it sit for a while. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let it sit for a while, man, because this shit right here is wild as hell, because she really could have, um, you know, not only fucked him up and the child up she could have um fucked somebody else up with children in the car because that was on um, memorial day that was um um monday night memorial day so i'm um you know i'm gonna end out there man crazy as hell with that come your solo